1945 after the Hijrah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, which is equivalent to 19th August 2023. I am Salam Tamil Alman The Department of State Service ESS, has picked up the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Nigeria Incentive Based Risk Sharing System for Agricultural Lending, NICEL, Abbas Omar Masanawa. Although the reasons he was picked up by the operatives were yet to be ascertained, sources familiar with the matter said his arrest was in connection with the ongoing investigation of the embattled former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Imefele. Sahaba so FM had last year exclusively reported how Masanawa's predecessor, Al Aliyu Abdul Hamid, allegedly mismanaged over 5 billion men for farmers in Kano and Jaka State, and how he was fired later by the former president, Mohamed Bahari. To be recalled, Masanawa was the managing director of the Nigeria Security Printing and Minting Company, popularly known as the Mint, before he was appointed to succeed Abdul Hamid. A senior banker who reportedly sought to contest the governorship of Katsuma State under the platform of the ruling or progressive Congress, APC, in 2022, was a close ally of Emefili. The president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Ajero Ajiro Joe, has noted that the 5 billion naira palliative package per stage, as announced by the federal government, won't amount to 1,500 Naira per person when shared among over 133 million Nigerians who are multidimensionally poor. Ajero, who made this known yesterday in an interview with newsmen, argued that there was no way 185 billion Naira will amount to something impactful when shared among 133 million Nigerians who are multidimensionally poor, according to statistics he got from the National Bureau of Statistics. The Labour Union leader maintained that even if the funds were converted to the value of six trailers of rice, it would not amount to a cup of rice by individual when shared. He added that from the time of the first increment of pump price for petroleum to the last one, more Nigerians had gone beyond the borderline and had slid into a very high level of poverty. The presidency says the federal distribution of palliatives is meant to cushion the impact of subsidy removal to Nigerians at the state level. The federal government approved 5 billion naira for each state and federal capital territory, FCT, to enable them to procure food items for distribution to the poor in their respective states. Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Ajure Gelali, made this known to newsmen today. As after the development, the Bush spokesperson admitted that there are possibilities of bad eggs manifesting in the disbursement process, adding that his principle is going to enforce a bottom-up approach. Ajuri also slammed the organized level, urging them to avoid blank statements and generalizing the state governor as incompetent for the palliative distribution tax. According to the special advisor, Nigeria should open a window of trust to the state governors in distributing palliatives, adding that they were voted in by the credibility of the people to address their needs. The Bauchi State Civil Service Commission has dismissed two staff of the Ministry of Finance for financial misappropriation and forgery. Those staff are the chief clear clerical officer and assistant chief clerical officer of the ministry, Nasiru Sam Samaila and Awel Jibril, respectively. They were said to have forged the document of the deceased former staff of the ministry, which enabled them to divert the sum of 230,000 belonging to their late former colleague. These were contained in a media statement signed on Friday by the information officer of the Civil Service Commission, Sali Umar, which was made available to journalists in the stage. Omar said that the act contravenes section 327 of the public service rules of Bauchi State. This is coming less than two weeks after the commission sacked one Ibrahim Gerba attached to the state pension board for a similar offense. The federal government has been urged to revitalize and fund the man of war for intelligence gathering to support the fight against insecurity. The executive director of God's Speed, leadership and Mentorship Development Initiative, Habila Hayat, made the call in a statement yesterday. News agents of Nigeria report that the Man O War Nigeria is a paramilitary organization established by the federal government through the Citizenship and Leadership Training Center Act as empowered by its enabling ordinance. He said insecurity ravaging Nigeria has got so much and requires collective effort in addressing the menace. He called on the Minister of Youth, Abubakar Momo, to revive the Man O War and the 
drive to drive initiatives that will enhance synergy with the other relevant agencies. The news is coming to you from studios of Saba Radio. Mornings after the short break, stay tuned. This is news on the hour. Saba Radio FM. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're still into the services of Sabre Radio 104.9 Hadi Jam. The chairman of the tax force, Al Haji Al Hassan Muhammad, gave the warning when members of the committee visited some filling stations on Gumal, Jahun, and Kiawa. He warned that any filling station that do not possess Serafin Gawaji will be sanctioned. He said a number of filling stations visited by the committee have no standard measuring card. Al Haji Al Hassan Muhammad advised marketers to always check their leases before dispensing for to consumers. The chairman said from the inception of the tax force to date, more than 30 filling stations have been warned for engaging in various unwholesome activities. He commended some marketers in Hadeja and Gumal for possessing Sarafin Gorge and maintaining proper leases in their filling stations. Yoba State House of Assembly has confirmed the appointment of all 20 nominees sent to the House as members of the State Executive Council. The House confirmed the appointment of the nominees after it conducted a three-day screening exercise. The Deputy Speaker, Honorable Ya Usman Achia, said the House confirmed the appointment of nominees as commissioners based on the track records of excellence. He commended the State Governor, Mala Buni, for appointing well-deserved individuals as members of the State Executive Council. He called on the confirmed nominees to work hard to justify the confidence reposed in them by the state government. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, said over 181,000 children from eight local government areas of Bruno State have not received any form of vaccination. UNICEF country representative Christian Mundrich said this at a media briefing to commemorate 2023 World Humanitarian Day in Medjugorje, the state capital. According to her, the local government areas include Dumbwa, Gubio, Mafa, Jere, Gunduga, Medjugorje Metropolitan, Mongono, and Gala. The UNICEF representative pointed out that resistance to immunization has led to resurgence of some vaccines preventable diseases, such as diphtheria and measles, among others. The head of United Nations Children Agency in Nigeria advocated for more than for more resources to tackle malnutrition with over 400,000 children suffering from severe acute malnutrition and 1.4 million children requiring psycho -social, social support in Adama, Brno, and Yuve State. West Africa's main bloc has agreed on a D-Day for possible military intervention to restore democracy in Niger after General Sopold and detained President Mohamed Bazoum last month. The Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS agreed yesterday to activate a standby force as a last resort if diplomatic efforts fail, a senior official said without disclosing when that is. The defense chief met to fine tune details of the potential military operation to restore Bazoum if ongoing negotiations with the co leaders fail. Military officers deposed Wazum on 26 July and have defied calls from the United Nations ECOWAS and others to reinstate him. Most of ECOWAS' 15 member states are prepared to contribute to the joint forces, except Cape Verde and those also under military rule, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea, a block official. That has been the news of I go, a recap of the major stories. From the news world head, Federal government to monitor deployment of palliatives. NLC kicks against federal government's five million billion palliative. On international scene, ECOWAS defense chief agree on DJ for Niger military intervention. That has been the news of the news department. Our editor, Mamma Suleiman Yubi, our country announcer, Zali Had Ahmed. I am Salamatunu Deliman saying. Good afternoon.